Well, no one's on yet, so that's cool. You know, it's whatever. Just waiting. Waiting. Someone's on. What's happening? Who's here? We got another. What's up, everyone? Oh, shut up, John. God. I think Jason's on here. Thanks, man. What is... Oh, guys, I'm scatterbrained right now. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those things. I'm just kind of like... Uh, I don't know. SLR, KLS, Dominic. It's the tiny hands. Dude, I almost... Have you seen those tiny hands? Well, my sister got me some of those tiny hands for Christmas last year, and I need to use those. I need to, I need to bring those in. Guys, I, I'm doing this because I got to tell you all thank you. I got to tell every single one of you guys thank you. Hit a thousand subs. And what's up, big? And uh, <laughs> that's a fact. I should go take a shot right now. Um, thousand subs. Got it's uh it's pretty crazy, you know. Got consistent with this about six months ago. I think my first video kind of dates back to like seven or eight months, but decided to get consistent with it six months ago, and made it to a thousand in six. And it's really it's wild. It is uh, it's very surreal, I guess you could say. And you know, John, John was there. He's been there since day one, Oki Outdoor. And uh, it was just, I mean, I had a goal. Had a goal to hit 1,000. I didn't know when it would be. My first goal was 500, and then I said I wanted to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. And got it done, made it happen. And uh, I think the biggest thing that I can tell you guys is to stay consistent with your videos. Don't don't get caught up in quality, haven't had the best stuff. Just put out content. Put out good content. It doesn't matter if it is fanciest camera work, the best editing, anything like that. But stay consistent with it. Uh, let me get back to some of these. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Jason. What's up, Jeff? Oh, big Nick's here. But, 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 oh my goodness, I got to Frank, going fishing tomorrow? I am as well. No, I have never been fishing at Elk City, Oklahoma. Mama, we made it. <laughs> yeah, Big Nick, it was, I give John his credit, but Big Nick, I'll grip it and rip it outdoors. I got to give that guy credit because he really, uh, he kind of brought me back to the whole the whole fishing scene. Started with snag and spoonbill. That's where it all started. Da, da, da. Going for a whale. Going for a whale on Sunday. Exponential growth suggests that you'll be 5,000, 8,000 around the time next year. Ah, I don't know about that. That'd be crazy. Da, da, da. Dun, dun, dun. Oh man, this is this is a lot. So some guys got their monster bass box today. And I'm a little upset. South guys get it way before we do, but it's all right. I've seen the baits. I'm already pretty pumped up about it. And uh I got to say Clay's coming back. If you don't know who Clay Tarje is, you're about to find out. Clay Tarje is making a comeback. He's coming to unbox the new Monster Bass box. Da -da. Shut up, John. Not Big John. John John. Real Graham, 421. <laughs> Grip it and rip it, Big Nick. So I got I got a I got a guy, I got a friend who's gonna get me on some coyotes. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna see if he 
wouldn't be opposed to bringing a friend as well. See if we can get on some deer and some yotes that way. Hey, SLR KLS. Um, one thing that I know a lot of people do is when they go sign up for Monster Bass first off, that becomes their charge date. So if you were to sign up for it on the 20th, that's going to be your charge date. So you won't get it until around that time of that time of the month. What you can do is you can go to their uh, their website and email support and you can change your charge date to the beginning of the month so you get it sooner. Got Oki and Big Nick just talking right now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So guys, I wanted to, uh, I know there, I've been talking to some guys lately and I'm going to try and get to some questions, but shut up, John. Um, talking to some guys lately about this whole YouTube game and, you know, the channel growth compared to theirs, other tackle companies, the other guys that are out there that don't want to support other content creators. And my biggest thing with that is I, I don't agree with that at all. You know, there are some content creators out there that have openly said that anybody else on Instagram doing what you're doing or anybody else on YouTube doing what you're doing is your competition. And I have to disagree with that wholeheartedly. I, I think that's the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. Because while fishing is probably one of the most selfish sports, we don't want to share spots. We don't want to really share techniques. It's, it's how we are. But this community here, YouTube, Instagram, the social media community, you got to work with other people. And you got to not to be, you, you can't be afraid to reach out to other people, to ask questions, to give your secrets, to give your tips, you know, what's helped you be successful, anything like that. You can't, you can't try and just, you know, keep that all to yourself. The other thing is, if you're doing this because you want to get big, you're doing it for the wrong reason. I started fishing again because I just, I missed it. And I've always loved creating content. I've always been big into video, big into photography. And I just wanted to combine the two and put them together. And this is what has come from it. So, you know, I've heard... I'm trying not to name names here. I'm trying to be very careful for whoever watches this because there's been some information told to me. But uh, I don't I don't I don't know how to say I don't know how to say it without calling somebody out. But let's say hypothetically speaking, you got a buddy that is working with another company and you're thinking about working with a different company. And then your buddy hypothetically says if you go work with this company, I'm probably not going to help you out on your channel at all. I heard about something like that. And that just, it pissed me off. It pissed me off. Because, again, like, where, where's this community of support supposed to be at? Like, we want to help each other out. That's why... I love talking to everybody on Instagram. I love talking to you guys on here and trying to help everybody out and help them grow because that's how it should be. I don't know if it's karma that I believe in, positivity breeds positivity, whatever it may be. But if you're looking for tips, if you're looking for help, reach out to anybody. I mean, I will, I will always answer. That's one thing about me. I will always do that. I will always help out however I can. Um, to get someone further along there. Um, let's let's try and catch back up here. Mm -mm -mm. Interacting with other channels is big. That's a fact. That was one thing that actually kind of uh, fired me up on my channel is I was snubbed by quite a few quite a few YouTubers, quite a few Instagram guys. I'd reach out to him asking for tips, you know, and it wasn't even about YouTube or Instagram. 
it was about fishing. And I got snubbed by so many dudes. And when they did that, I just kind of realized like that right there is why I'm going to start my channel and I am going to always reply. I'm going to do, well, I'm going to always do my best to reply to every single person on there. So every single comment, every single message on Instagram, everything, I am always going to try and reply to every single person. And that's another secret for you guys on this platform and the Instagram platform engagement. It used to be all about the amount of followers and it's not so much about the amount of followers now. It's about engagement. So you can see guys that have, you know, 50,000 followers on Instagram and they may have five, 600 likes on a photo, but look at the comment section. There's probably six or seven comments. Now I'm, I'm just using me and this is not a brag, but you know, I have a picture that got a little over 200 likes and I had over 70 comments on one of them. And I think that includes the replies, but companies pay attention to your engagement. They want to see that you're actually engaging, that you're not just buying likes, you're buying followers. They want to see that you're working with people and you're helping people out. That's another tip for you. I'm actually thinking about doing a, a video, kind of going back to uh, starting a YouTube channel and doing tips and tricks. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Let's try and catch up here. What's up, Harley? Thanks, man. I know. I need to get some waiters trout fish. I know. I know. Thanks, Eric. Derek. My dyslexia kicked in there. Don, does it look like I ever played football? Dude, I am. No, I'm small. I'm teeny tiny and with tiny, tiny little hands. People are selfish nowadays. That's why I'm trying to change that narrative, dude. I'm trying to change that narrative in this community. I, I don't want to be selfish. Um, now, one thing you can always count on me to not do is blow up a fishing spot. Someone takes me out to a fishing spot and they don't want it to be known. I'm not going to tell you. Don't take it personally but I'm not going to tell you where it's at. I will always keep those things private. Nice head case. I appreciate that, man. Oh, did y'all know that I uh, actually upset Mystery Tackle Box the other day? One of those MTB boys, I know he's been watching some of my stuff, and... Uh, all of a sudden, I had Mystery Tackle Box comment on that video I did like two months ago. Back before I was even with Monster Bass, I made the video as to why I was canceling MTB and going with Monster Bass, and they just now commented on it, and uh, they were a little upset. So I think I was kind of right when I said uh, that they that I was blackballing myself. What are you saying, John? Yes. Trying to shift the community to be more engaged, truly share info and work with people who are reaching out. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate that. Junior high team went seven and one. Dang, that's good. Nope. Never going never gonna blow up a spot. Never gonna blow up a spot. Buddy Steve knows about that. Scroll up here. Guys, what other questions you got for me on this this whole journey that we've been on? I'm being very quiet right now. Sorry. I'm trying to read. Whoa. <laughs> Jason, every channel now, stupid Walmart challenges, fishing kits, and stupid crap like that. Let's, you know what? Let's talk about fishing kits really quick. 
Has anybody noticed the crazy push for the Guggen Mondo kit right now? Anybody else notice that? YouTube is full of Guggen Mondo kits. And it reminds me a lot of when, uh, because I'm, I'm a camera nerd. I'm a camera nerd. So when DJI would put out a new drone, all these digital creators, these, you know, tech guys that did reviews over, you know, different gear, different tech, all of a sudden there was just a huge flood and increase to bring attention to that. And Catchco is obviously, obviously doing that. I still love, I still love the Guggen Baits. I mean, I've still got plenty of them sitting here, but when I see a big push like that, that's where I get very, very uh, skeptical of it. I've seen plenty of stuff about people breaking down the price of the baits to, you know, the actual kit itself. And I think it averages out to the same if you were to buy it yourself, you know, but then you get to actually pick out the color that you want. Whereas on the Guggen kit, it's just another mystery tackle box and you don't know what colors you're getting. You know what baits you're getting, but you don't know what colors you're getting. So that's one thing that I've kind of, that sucks to see. But on the other hand, for the Guggens, it was really cool to see them go out and do that knockout challenge because I was talking to John today. And I was like, that's the kind of stuff that I miss. I miss when they would go out and go fishing and have fun and tons of laughs. So that's what kind of got me back into it. And that's what made me want to do this. So I was happy to see that from them. Let's catch up here. hate sample packs plain and simple that is a fact how do i like the 13 i love that reel i think that reel is fantastic amazon still has them on sale for like 100 bucks that's 100 bucks off um i would assume it's because they're coming out with a new one and they're just trying to phase out of them i don't know for sure but i do like it it's very easy to tune um, I got the brakes dialed into where I can just tune from the spool tension knob if I'm going to cast or if I'm going to pitch and flip with it. So biggest or big, big fan of that reel. What was the hardest 100 to hit? Are we talking like, so Fish and Magician, are we talking like 100 in general, 500, 200? What are we talking about here? Oh, man. So let me know about that. You haven't made it until you have haters. That is a fact, just like Oki said. Yeah, that's true, Big John. Very true. Do I ever get burnt out? Stoney, you know, we kind of talked about this. Um, and it's funny you mentioned that because back when I made the Ned versus Ned video, like that was one of my first cinematic ones. And I love shooting stuff like that. Again, because I love to create content. I like to work with the camera. I like to make cinematic sequences. After I did that, the next time that I went out to go fish, I found myself too concerned with getting the shot. And that right there, I kind of sat back that day and I was like, I'm not out here to make this bomb cinematic sequence for fishing. I'm out here to fish. That's what I'm here to do. So when I stopped worrying about that and just worry about fishing, I mean, there's plenty of times I've gone out fishing and I don't even take the cameras with me. So I don't get burnout. I've been discouraged plenty of times. Plenty of times you go out there, you get skunked. I know with winter coming up, it's probably going to be the same way. But I'm so bound and determined to learn different techniques to get better this year that I have not found myself getting burnout yet. I do think that you can get discouraged, especially if you are making videos. I think that when the channel starts to get stagnant, it's very easy to get so discouraged to where you just don't even want to do it anymore. And my biggest piece of advice there is to just keep doing it. You got to stay consistent. You got to trust the system. Um, trust the process because it, it is tough and it will wear on you, but you have to be sure that you're doing it for the right reason. Mm -hmm. 
heard it's trash and Guggen will be huge on YouTube. That's that's true. I mean, Guggen's have got it right. They have got a killer marketing scheme. I mean, the black and green, it grabs your attention. Stuff looks cool. The names are cool. It's it is big. They're they're very very smart, and I give them nothing but props for that. Yeah, I got a couple of their crankbaits too, but I'm not a big crankbait fisherman myself right now, at least. Plastics, love the plastics. Um, I have since uh, really kind of fallen in love with Strike King, so you guys should know that by now. <laughs> Da, da, da. Six cents, yeah. I do have a. I've got some of the six cents crankbaits as well, and I do like those. But again, I'm not a big crankbait fisherman. Okay. Yeah, I did. I think that, uh, Jason, on your question really quick, Fishing mag Magician, I'm going to get to you. Um, favorite and Guggen splitting ties? I do, yeah, I mean, it definitely looks that way. I think they probably just had a contract with them at first, and it was, you know, over so many, so long of a period of time, and the contract is up because you remember they were actually fishing with their new uh, Soleus reels for a little bit, and then... That never came to fruition, so I think Rob is fishing with Phoenix rods now. I still love my favorite. I mean, I still love the White Bird. I still love the Phantom. I'm not going to. I'm not going to switch until I need to. You know, I'm not going to follow the trends that way. But again, they did introduce me to favorite, so I've been happy with that. Hmm. How do you get the algorithm to work in your favor? Dude, if I knew, I would tell you. I really, I do not know. I think when it comes to the YouTube algorithm, I think, it, again, it comes down to the engagement. You know, if you've got a channel out there and you've got questions rolling in, you've got to make time to respond to every single person in your audience. You have to do that because that's what we all want. If we talk to somebody, we want to be spoken to back. You know, so there's times where when I got snubbed, it was more so I would much rather someone not respond to me at all than give me a one, a one word response or the same response that they gave 20 people before that. So I think, I guess my best guess for the algorithm is just engagement. You know, I know hashtags have a big thing to do with it. You know, the title, I've never been big on clickbait. I don't believe in that because people get upset with that. I get upset with that. If I'm doing a video that I feel is clickbaity or a title that I feel is clickbaity, I'm going to tell you in the title it's total clickbait. I'm going to be 100% real. So I think that's a big thing to do with it as well. Um, the hardest 100 out of 1,000. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. I think getting to 100, the first 100, or the first two or 300 was probably the hardest for me because you just kind of sit stagnant for a while and you just kind of wonder, is it still working? Um, another thing that I stopped doing, and I stopped this probably around 300, is I stopped asking people to subscribe. I stopped doing that, um, stopped asking for shout outs. People are going to do it when they want to do it. You put out good content, oh, sorry. If you put out good content, people are going to want to share it. People are going to want to be there. They're going to want to support you. They're going to want to put your name out there. But don't ask for shout outs. Don't ask for, you know, collaborations. Um, no, I mean, I take that back. Don't, don't not ask for collaborations. I mean, the worst thing that you can be told is no, you know. But I think that organic growth is a lot more rewarding then, you know, putting something out there saying, hey, please subscribe or, you know, sending someone a message. Hey, will you subscribe for a subscribe? Because a lot of time when you deal with that, you got guys that will go and subscribe to you. And it's just like Instagram. They'll follow you for the follow back and then they'll unfollow you. 
So they will subscribe to you for the subscribe back. And then if you're not on top of it, they're going to unsubscribe to you. And you just gave them a subscription that they don't even care about enough to stay and be interactive on your channel. Thank you, Full Armor. Thank you, Bay Boy. What's up, Rob, man? What's up, Sean? You're good, man. Guys, I just decided to throw this together because it's Friday night. It's date night. We're going to go. Uh, my parents are in town, so they're watching the kids, so we're going to go to dinner and maybe a movie if Mama can stay awake that long. <laughs> Warren, 16th and 17th. I got something going on then, too. Let's see here. Oh, man. Let's, let's scroll back here. All right, so... What's up, White Whale? Goon Bates do look good. Strike King is one of my favorites. Same here, Frank. Stony, good. Glad I answered that. Let's see here. Structure bug, shut up. Rage Craw or Cracking Craw? Rage Craw all day, Harley. Yeah, I did see. I mean, Six Sense is stepping it up. They're they're trying to I think they're trying to play a little bit of catch up. Stony agree with me. Dirty stash bag is pretty sweet. Slam the bag in two hours. That's good, man. You know, I haven't tried their bag out because again it comes with so many crankbaits and it's just not really up my alley. Plus, I'm pretty sure every single one of them comes with a cloud and fishing in ponds that deep of a diver is not going to do me any good personally how much fun i had oh man what was it what is that oh god jeez text it to me dude i'm sorry <laughs> uh let's see here Let's talk about how much fun you had throwing the Mega Bass swim bait. Yeah, I mean, I'm throwing big baits on Sunday again. That was that was my first time throwing a big swim, and it was it's a weird bite. It's a really weird bite. It's not a thump. It's not they didn't slam it or anything like that. It's just all of a sudden there's pressure on there, so you got to be very aware of the rod of the your line to know what exactly is going on there. I'm gonna have to scroll back up there, catch up here, old backyard. <laughs> How I maintain this beast of a beard. Uh, it's all personal, you know, I, I trim it myself. It just takes patience. A lot of time, a lot of patience. Hey, Case, you are talking way out of my league, bro. I, I don't even know. Just so you guys know, this year of fishing, it had been 10 plus years since I had fished before. Like, again, before, I hadn't fished for 10 plus years. And when I picked up fishing again this year, Back then, all I did was cast and retrieve. I mean, spinner bait. That was about it. Spinning gear, everything. Picked up my first bait caster this year. Learned a Texas rig for the first time this year. It's all been a learning curve. All this year has been all a learning curve for me. So. Collab's the best thing you've ever done for your channel. Big John, I mean, I, I'm trying to be better about that. My goal next year is actually travel around and, you know, take a weekend and go fish with people and go to different states and go to different spots. That's my that's one of my big goals for next year. 
is to do that. Come with a great saying. <laughs> that whole it's a whale thing, man, that was, you know, my buddy Steve, when he went fishing with us for the first time and I was getting hyped over this big of a fish, he was talking to me and he was like, Dude, I just kind of wonder if you like ever put it on for the camera or if that's genuine. I was like, that's genuine, man. That that is all me. I get hyped over fish. It does not matter what size they are. It's a whale. I didn't realize I was gonna live on an infamy like it has. Rather have engaged viewers and subs. I'm with you on that. Because that pays off. Engagement pays off. That that's a fact. Brandon Perna brought you in. That's a good dude. Thank you again, guys, for the congrats. Oh, I'm coming to Chick next year for sure, Rod. That's what my bucket list lakes. For sure. Fast swap. Good, dude. That's the way to do it. I'm telling you. That is the way to do it. Engagement. People want to, I mean, we want to be able to talk to people. We want to know, we want to hear about fishing. I thought someone was pulling up to the store. We want to talk fishing. We want to hear about fishing. But I also want to try and help people further along with this whole YouTube thing. I'm going to text them. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving away my concept Z. Come on, bro. I am going to do a giveaway, though. I got a Bass Pro Qualifier 2 that... Now, I'm telling you guys right now, all my reels, left-hand retrieve. So I'm going to come up with something to do for that. But I got a Bass Pro Qualifier 2 that I just do not use. I mean, I've, I have threw it three times maybe, and it's just kind of sitting around. So I'm going to throw it onto a, uh, another rod that I have, and I'm going to do, I'm going to do a giveaway for that. The load up. There he is, the OK Fisherman right there. Dun, 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 dun. Here it comes. What's up, 863? I'm always I'm always this right. Thank you, Rocky Top. <laughs> Warren, yeah, you did binge, didn't you, dude? It's been a progression. That's why that's why I have this name. The worst, worst angler. Oh, okay. I get it. I'm on live. I am on live chat. I just got to keep scrolling back and forth through them all. Dun, dun, dun. Sean, I mean, you've been here since they jumped too, dude. And I, and I agree. I think that's why we relate so much as well. Big Nick's back, or he might be, I don't even know. Hello. Hello. What is 